on everybody this is donovan back with high off blue hour and we have some more cyberlink power director i guess tutorial type stuff to do uh this time i wanted to kind of spend the whole video and this time it'll be a much shorter video but i wanted to make sure to spend the whole video kind of going through the graphical overlay options that they have or what they call stickers here i'm going to click on these pull these up and the term stickers is a little deceiving because these are a lot more kind of dynamic than stickers they're obviously animated and this first tab this is the new tab and the news tab always has kind of uh seasonal timely type stuff so you got the father's day thing going on obviously and then you slide over, you have trending stickers, which is just a mishmash of all the stickers from some of the other categories. So we'll go look at those. You got more kind of trending uh, sticker stuff. So this right here, though, social media, I kind of kind of glanced over this in the in the last video. But these again, these are good kind of options for social media type stuff in terms of you know looking for likes and followers and subscribers and stuff like that now as you get further down the menu in this social media section you know some of the images become a lot more kind of cartoony which might be with some people want like some people might want that kind of more simplistic almost childlike youthful look to some of these I'm always more partial to the more kind of slick, more polished looking graphics. And a lot of times those are more towards towards the top of different sections. But this is my favorite section right here. This is the special effects section. I did touch on this a little bit in that in that other uh, video, but I'll go ahead and talk about it again. Uh, these effects are really a lot more fluid looking and just a lot more you know uh, i don't necessarily want to say realistic but but these aren't you know shabby at all like in terms of quality particularly these flame animations there's a, a really kind of fluid uh aspect about these i just I, I like them i think they're very high quality you get kind of sparkler effects you, you know spark effects as well uh all sorts of kind of electrical magical type effects impact effects uh, just whatever you kind of want for if you want to do some sort of animated action sequence or something like that or just uh, all, to all sorts of kind of flares and bursts and all those type of things. And once again, you have a lot of kind of like mist animations and different kind of things that just very fluid motion for what it is. It's obviously it's not like this is this isn't like PlayStation 5 looking quality or anything like that but it's for just a with for something that's just labeled a sticker these all look very good like look at these uh i don't know if it shines through if it shows through in the video but like look at these fireworks animations like the fluidity of them considering that these are just being called stickers but you can you can export these, you can take these into the timeline. Uh, you can also export these like by themselves as videos and then take those files and use them in other editing suites. I, I, there's some of these graphics, I export them over a black background or a green background and then I take that file into DaVinci Resolve and do all sorts of things in DaVinci Resolve with, 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 these, with these graphics. So. And I've just been scrolling for a while now. I'm still in the special effects tab and you can just kind of see what's here to offer. That's the whole point of this video to just kind of show a lot of the options in terms of just sticker overlays. And then you got the tutorial. This is a very good section for finding graphics and arrows, animated graphics, animated arrows to use in tutorials. That first Power Director tutorial video I did I used two or three arrows out of this uh, this batch for that tutorial. I used this hand right here with the finger pressing down on the button and just and it all you know it works well. Very useful graphics and you have a uh, this interface 
category right here where you get all of these type of i mean it all kind of speaks for itself you got a little bit of everything ekg uh animation right there battery countdown recording live type stuff uh all sorts of stuff smartphones all types of just kind of dynamic animated graphical overlays that can really spice up your videos particularly like your vertical videos and stuff a lot of these graphics have a big effect with like vertical shareable videos and things and you got decorations it kind of goes on and on it's very similar to the stock the stock library that i talked about in the first video how it's just like the stock library that power director has is very extensive and you could say the same thing with some of the stickers they got uh didn't mean to do that but you got you know got that stuff you got mood stuff this is one where i never really you know i'm, I'm sure some of this stuff works for some people but you know, most of these right here. Well, some of these I haven't seen before, actually. I should have scrolled. Yeah, I must have neglected this section because I haven't scrolled this far down in the mood section before. And so, yeah, they got some good stuff in this one as well. Stuff that I would use in certain situations. You got all these emojis and, yeah, and then we got the seasons. You got kind of weather related and seasonal related things all once again a lot of kind of dynamic most of these are animated and in motion now this now these right here are just static stickers and then you get back to these that are animated and, and in motion obviously these are more for my favorite season autumn the fall not quite time yet for that but then you got your holidays and same thing, it just goes on and on. Just stickers. Various stickers, some of them animated, most of them animated. Some of them slicker than others, but all I can see having a use case for, just depending on who you are and the situation. We got the family one. I think that's kind of, I saw some of these already with the Father's Day stuff. And then you got these with the kind of the kids related things so whatever kind of content somebody does or type of videos they do there's some uh, sticker overlays here that somebody can make use of you got lots of birthday stuff handwritten type things i'm not gonna i'm gonna try to speed up some of this i'm not gonna go through everything but nature some of the cloud animations are really crazy like in terms of just quality got some wedding stuff so you just kind of you know you got travel all kinds of stuff and you know all every category has a pretty extensive amount of options stuff in neon japanese text you know just so many different things balloons if, if you know if you need some something that looks like balloons so yeah you just got a lot of stuff here to choose from food of course recreation you, know, you got your camping your map campfire all kinds of things going on here look at just just kind of you just kind of look at some of this stuff because you can't really look, you can't look at it all at once. So it's kind of like, it's very easy to miss some of these things. But I, I think these are very quality, you know, just stickers, just simple animations. You add these to a video that you're doing. And depending on what, what type of video you're doing and what, uh, what animations you pick, it can really kind of can really add a add a nice little touch to uh to your edit so that is it for this video i just one like i said it was just gonna the whole video was just me kind of going over these uh available available stickers you know special effects all of this so yeah so that's it for for this video you guys definitely check out if you're messing around with power director definitely make sure to go through 
the sticker library. It still feels weird even calling these stickers because a lot of them are really, really much more than that. You know, like I said, I like to use the term graphical overlays because that's really graphic overlays because that's really kind of that makes more sense to me than just simply calling them stickers because they to me. To me, they're more than that. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.